All right, what's up everybody? I'm back again with another tutorial. Uh, this one is going to be a little more complicated. Uh, it's not really hard. Uh, you just gotta you gotta follow a couple steps. Uh, so basically, what this is here is this is a uh, I guess you'd say like a fake enemy. Um, and this is what happens uh, when you trigger it. <clears throat> So here's my my pad here. So I'm gonna step here, and it comes at me, and I die. Teleports me. Very simple. Um, anyways, so here's the tutorial. <clears throat> so let me let me just get rid of all this. All right. Uh, so you're gonna start off with a object of your choice. Doesn't matter. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and use. Uh, who knows? We'll do the head. All right. So basically, you're gonna want to get this hat, and you're gonna want to be able to push it, right? So in order to do that, click the hat. Uh, and, you're, and since this is gonna be a flying object, it's not gonna matter. But most of the time, for especially for new people, they don't quite understand. Um, so these things right here, uh, pickable means you can you can grab it and put it in your pocket. Draggable means you can drag it across the floor and static means that it, you can't do anything. It's just a prop uh, When you put animations and stuff, it's automatically static But just make sure if you're putting uh, props and stuff that you don't want people picking up or dragging around make sure it's static I'll do it here, but it doesn't really matter Okay uh, So we're gonna click animation and then edit waypoint Now you can see there's a ghost here and let's see when I drag I'm gonna put my waypoint about to here to this pole. Line it up. Okay, now confirm. All right. Now this thing has a waypoint, but it won't do anything, right? Oh, uh, you see, that's what happens if you don't make your stuff static. So it's not gonna do anything. It doesn't move. It, yep. There we go. See. Always make your stuff static. Let me go ahead and fix that. All right. So in order to make this move, you need some sort of uh, a button. Now in this game, there's a lot of different buttons. Um, the one I'm going to use today is very simple. Uh, it's not complicated. Uh, it's just going to be a trigger. So I'll put trigger here, right about where uh, our hat's going to fly out. And then now all you got to do, you click this. You're gonna click triggers by a player. Uh, that just means if you walk in, it'll it'll make this move. Right. Okay. Uh, so now, enter actions. We're gonna click that. Confirm. All right. So now what will happen is when we step here, the hat will fly at us. Look at that. I did it. All right. And now it just stays there until we walk back in. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna do exit. So there's that. Okay, so now when we walk in, the hat flies. When we walk out, it retracts. When we walk in, flies, goes back. Okay. Now the next step is our uh, simulated uh, dying, I guess you could say. So what you're gonna need to do, I have one here. Go to logic, teleport, place teleport there. Okay, and you can turn it around. Yeah, you can do whatever you want. I'm just gonna put it here. Okay. So, what you're gonna want to do is uh, the teleport. We're gonna we're gonna make it so that when the hat touches you, we're gonna give it a hitbox. So when it touches you, it'll teleport you, and that's simulating like your death, so to speak. So we'll go ahead and put this thing here, trigger. <clears throat> Alright, and we're going to put this trigger right here. And then we're just going to, you don't have to be too precise with the hitbox unless you want to be. I'm just going to make it stick out right here. And you'll see once it flies and it's it's going to teleport me before it even hits me. That's, that's what I want. Now, now here's the problem. Okay, so I'll put the hitbox here. Um, now I'm going to put triggers by, oh whoops, hold on, 
Sorry about that. Uh, triggers by player. Is this going to hit us? <clears throat> okay. Now, here's one problem that we're going to have. Is so now... Our box isn't actually here. You can't see it. But our box isn't attached. Okay. So what you got to do in order to attach it is you have to click here and you have to click parent okay now this is the parent and this is the child so if I move this it's gonna move around if I move this it's not gonna move around so that's not what you want okay uh, it always it gets really confusing but basically what you want to do is you want to click this one and now this one is the parent and this is the child or no this is the parent here and this is the child okay so whichever box you click that's the one that's going to be the child and whichever one you connect it to is going to be the parent okay so now when I move it when I move this it moves around right but when I move this now they both move around all right now I'm going to clean up my animation I'm going to click here and I'm going to just put kind of in line with the box here and yeah that's about good enough okay confirm all right and now the last thing okay so when when it's triggered when the player hits this box I want them to teleport so there you go and now let's see if it worked and there's my pickable object just though all right so I'm gonna walk in here oh and it worked there you go see that now you have uh, some sort of enemy and you can do this with any type of any type of uh, object in the game now there's a couple of just quality of life things <clears throat> now if you want to if you want to make it so that they're only gonna it's only gonna work one time you're gonna do is sticky okay so now what that means is this is what's gonna happen so it's gonna boom hit me and now it's not gonna do it again the hat will still fly but it will only kill me once <clears throat> all right uh, a couple little more things little tips here um, so you can do right here duration you can actually change this make it two seconds if you want okay and here's some extras this is loop bounce autoplay this is a delay and then this is pickable make it so that you can pick it up I don't know why you'd want to do that uh, so yeah again let me show you uh, so this is what happens when you mess with the time frame so you got a slow hat and then now you're gonna have an instant hat <clears throat> yeah you didn't even see that coming as soon as you walk in the barrier boom boom flashes uh, <clears throat> and that's very useful I use the instant uh, for making computer screens and uh, making like text dialogue uh, certain things like that um, let me see if I have any other any other things uh, no that's that's what I have for this tutorial Alright guys, take care.